Good morning, one and all. How you going? Welcome back to another quick video looking at Lake Victoria. I haven't got to Lake yet. We haven't even left the property. Just wanted to get a good shot of these birds. Yeah, drink of water there. Get a good shot of the birds before we go. Ah, oh, looks like they're going to go walk about. It's a beautiful morning, I tell you. Oh, well. I'll pause this video and uh, we'll have a look at the lake, shall we? Welcome back everyone. Now, um, I'm almost at the lake. Oh, the perfume from these trees are beautiful. Now, if I was standing here, right, where that seat is, 20, 30, 40 years ago, I'd be in water. None of this would be here. None of this green stuff would be here. Yeah, that tree probably wouldn't be there because we're too close to the water's edge. So, like, I could walk off and go like, like, like this and that's how far I've been water, because this is where the beach ended, right in that grassy spot. Right? That's where the beach started. And most years, you'd have probably about this size of the beach at uh, this time of year, and nothing here would be alive. None of these flowers, none of the grasses here, nothing would be alive, none of the trees at all. And then about 16, 17 years ago, they decided to secure, like, stop the erosion here because it's quick and you know, the beach used to be four times as big as this. Um, or basically, this could you could be walking on sand at this time of year or walking on water, mostly people probably walking on water. But summertime, you could come out here and be all sandy. So, what they decided to do is put these groins in place uh, along Seagull Drive, or part of Seagull Drive anyway, from the boat ramp to the end of Seagull Drive. Now, what they, and they pumped up and there's some hot, deep holes where these groins are as well, somewhere. What they did is they pumped up the sand, they filled these up, and they pumped all this sand in here. They dredged all the sand up into here, which is very brilliant, it stabilised it. Now, nothing besides this stuff grew on it for years, right? No, nothing else grew on it except for that. So you basically come here, which is a hot sand, a occasional bit of grass maybe grew. But only recently, these really have been taking over. The trees have started to come over and take over. So this technically is lake. It's a reclaimed lake, right? Um, I'll, say, I'll show you the video before. If you look at the erosion, you can see how Locksport used to be like. Um, that's how they basically, yeah, literally from that seat. On that grassy area, that was the beach. Where you hold it now, I'd be up to be waste or not up to my neck in water. I'm freezing my nuts off because it's going to so cold for water at the moment. But as you can see, these have been working for 16, 17 years. This beach has been stabilised. Um, it's got grass growing on it, got trees growing up, animals that live in there as well. So yeah, um, they work. <laughs> um, and I hope eventually they'll replicate these the other end of locks well the other end there but secure the, fix up the boat ramp and make sure that this bit that it looks like this and also the caravan park and other places where it's going to eventually get washed away if we don't do anything about it oh you look after yourselves everyone have a great day thank you again for watching my videos and all comments are welcome what a beautiful morning oh by the way we had 13 13 mils of rain at the back of lakeside. 